I'm just recording a little bit of an intro. We uh, we got together with Lindsay from CHFA this morning, and I'm just recording this intro because we're kind of like six weeks out from CHFA, and um, we thought we'd get together, kind of talk to Lindsay, pick her brain. You know, there's a little bit about why CHFA, but I also think there's some really interesting conversations in this about trends coming up and how to think about what's to come um, for this year, for next year, you know, kind of ongoing trends. And I'm doing the intro because we rolled into the conversation hot and we just went with it. So I just didn't want you guys to get that conversation without at least getting a little bit of a warm up. Um, but uh, you can tell Kenny and I both love talking to Lindsay. Um, she's uh, this wonderful person with a great personality and this huge, enormous brain that she's always hiding. Um, I feel like anyway, so um, great conversation. I hope you enjoy this and then have a wonderful weekend. Or are you guys kind of, you know, taking a breath before <laughs> you went um, from SOS to like, holy shit, it's. Well, we're, yeah. we're still, we're still, uh, we're still going full force SOS with SOS. Yeah. yeah, the, yeah. the consultation for cost recovery closed yesterday, <laughs> but that doesn't mean we take our foot off the gas. We've, you know, got a lot of work to do. We got a new health minister, so uh, yeah. gotta make sure he knows what's going on. So, Is, yeah. um Do we think, do you think that's a good thing or bad thing or we don't know yet? Hard to don't tell. know yet. I mean, I'm sure more politically, um, minded people in our GR team <laughs> would have maybe different thoughts, but I mean, you know, it's a, it's a chance to have a different conversation with someone. It's a, it's a new person. So I'm not really sure, yeah. you know, his thoughts and feelings, but um, yeah, we're, we're keeping the letters pouring in and, you know, we've cracked, I haven't looked at my camp today, but yesterday we're over 70,000 digital letters in and that's not, not even including all of the physical yeah. postcards, postcards that are cards. So yeah, we've got a wow. we've got an industry that rallies and, and gets the word out. So it's pretty that's impressive. Pretty but, yeah, yeah. Well, that's a lot. I mean, it's like, you know it's an ind independent industry to get. It's herding cats, right? Mm -hmm. So you get seventy thousand cats, and that's not bad. Well, they're passionate cats. <laughs> that's a, well, it makes yeah. a big deal, though, right? That's pretty yeah. crazy. That's, cats, I think that's to be honest. That's fantastic. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think people obviously are you know they're passionate about access to the products that they choose for their health and you know people's businesses are on the line and so you get that kind of kind of like yeah. clash of things and you know you get a passionate group so yeah people are responding and we're really really happy so yeah lots of work still to do on that side of things but the show is <laughs> six weeks away which is also it's coming fast eh? Yeah, six, six weeks. Uh, like I said, six weeks yesterday to our reg form kicks off on the Thursday. So that it's uh, it's pretty um, amazing. I don't know. It's like you guys are in marketing and things like that. Like it, it, you work on so many campaigns and things like that. But this yeah. is the, um, I don't know. It's like hard to describe. It's because the show is just so big and you're there that it's like all your work is just on display yeah. for like four days, right? <laughs> so yeah. it's, it's it's true. fun to see it at that scale and that magnitude. And I mean, I used to go to the the show when I wasn't at CHFA, and you know, you have a different um, perception of it. But it's like walking in now. I'm like, oh my god, please! I yeah. hope I didn't miss a typo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Kind of thing. So yeah. we're never relaxed until at least the Sunday on our side. Yeah. Or you show up and there's there's a banner that isn't where it's supposed to be. There's you know people don't know what's happening on that stage and you're like oh god. Yeah, yeah. And then again, it all works out. Even that, even I that. Think, once it's rolling, it's rolling. Yeah, and I I think it's like I mean again coming and being on this side of it and working here, it's like we're the hosts. We just want people to have yeah, a exactly. good time and, and feel the fun and feel welcomed. And you know, people don't notice the little things that we do. But if you're freaking out about them, I think it sets a tone. Yeah. And so, yeah. you know, we just got to roll with it and just make sure everyone feels feels welcome, knows where things are, is having a good time. So, so that's our goal. I love it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys will be there, which is always. Oh, nice. yeah. We're, we're excited. Ah, yeah. It's going to be fun. Yeah. So what's new? What's new really to show fun. this year? What's what's the oh. what's the what's the cool shit happening? It's the cool. We're yeah, we're working on a we're working on a lot of things to to make it cool. So um, 
I mean, we started this in Vancouver, but first time in Toronto that we'll have our retailer VIP program, which we just want the retailers to feel like, again, feel that, feel the love, yeah. feel welcome. Um, so quite a few different things happening on that side. So uh, we've partnered with Veritree again, which we did partner with in Vancouver. Um, so for every retailer attendee that comes, we'll plant a tree in Ontario and a kelp in uh, the Pacific Ocean. So that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's really the cool. world is the world is burning. So anything we can do yeah. to help is, is, you know, hopefully, hopefully in the right direction. Um, we are actually so we've got Uber codes again. So we did that in Vancouver as well. But for anyone who you that's know, a really nice touch. Eh? I really think that's a cool thing. Yeah, just really? make it easier to come, you know, yeah. again, be our guest, make it easy to get there. So yeah. um, for anyone who registers before uh, August 18th, you know, they'll get access to a code for the Friday, Saturday and Sunday as well. So that'll be exciting. Um, we are one of the things we're, we're working through. So we're I don't, I don't know if you remember last in Vancouver, we moved our CHFA member booth so it's more front and center so people right. can find us a little bit easier again yep. you know people want to know where's this yep. booth can where can i get a floor plan things like that so moved it to make it a little bit easier to find us so same in toronto we're in a different location so we're right front and center oh cool um but i don't yeah. know if you noticed at the enter care last year there's like a series of rooms as well kind of just off of the the trade show floor like right when you walk in and so one of those rooms is the chfa room and so in the morning before the trade show opens on the saturday and sunday we're having an uh having a breakfast that's exclusive for retailers so on the saturday morning you'll get breakfast you'll we have an espresso bar going we're gonna oh, nice. do it uh we're gonna do a, a preview of the trends that we've spotted from the show floor so my team's already kind of digging into all of the brands that'll be there and iding kind of what they think are the coolest products and coolest trends so retailers on the saturday i'll get oh. a sneak peek of that and then on the sunday um, one of the new things we're doing. So again, retailers will have access to our our, our lounge from uh, I think we open it at eight forty five to ten. Um, but we're gonna do a cool thing. So I don't know if you guys remember our incubator alley, which is yep. um, yeah. a section of the trade show floor for really new startup brands. Yeah. Um, and we're giving twenty of those incubator alley brands the chance to come and give us six give us give us your pitch in sixty seconds. Like, who are you? What are you about? Why should I come visit your booth? Um, so we're kind of doing, it's not it's quite pretty a cool too, actually, you know? launch pad, like there's not a winner, yeah. per se, but it's just kind of that speed round. So retailers can come in, grab a bite to eat again, get a really great coffee or tea and sit down and kind of, like I said, speed round the incubator alley brands and kind of see what's new and what's exciting. I mean, pick up that's something a, really that's cool. a big deal, right? Because, you know, well, these little brands, they don't, <clears throat> you know, one to practice the pitch and then two to get this focus moment. Even well, you get the attention of somebody fire. sitting there. It's a big it's, deal. Uh, it's a big deal. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, it's not a competition, no pressure. No. I mean, pressure is no, the no. time. But you, like you yeah. said, you just work on work on that pitch and give that compelling reason to come yeah. come try your product at your booth. And yeah. it's more exposure for these little brands. I think, you know, after doing the shows for so many years, you know, brand and product discovery are kind of you know one of the main reasons people come. So just really trying to make it easier to discover awesome companies and then support those companies to, to get a, the exposure oh, awesome. to grow, right? So that's gonna be super fun. And then after 10 p.m. that room, we flip it and that's the uh, that's exclusive for CHFA members. So if you're a member, you don't need to be a retailer, but you do need to be a CHFA member. Again, you can come in, just take a bit of a break from the show floor. We have massages, we have, again, coffee bars there all day. Um, so you can just kind of recharge. What? Take a break, have fun. Yeah, I think that's an awesome idea. Like, that's one thing. A lot of the shows you it's trying to find the yeah. spot. Sometimes it's just for five minutes, just yeah, sort of just to get away for half a shake. Quick yeah. note, quick espresso. I kind of like the espresso. No, but you you really do. You need a minute, right? Because we all go to these shows. Like you got to be this battle axe and kind of drag your butt through the show. But the truth is, by the by the end of the first day, you're already like. I'm not sure what I saw in the last two aisles, right? Like, because I don't remember, right? Because I'm yeah, so desperate long to day. get a drink. I, I need something. I need to chill out. So being able to, like, stop and recharge for a second, I think is very insightful, actually. I right? kind of like, I think it's You're a good idea. You're actually saving us from ourselves because it's yeah. not. <laughs> well, it's, it's, a, it's a, you're right. It's like a bit quality. Yeah quality over quantity yeah, like if you're yeah, just lasting yeah. through you yeah. might not remember but even just taking a moment from the show floor to like digest 
Because it's, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people there, which is great, but there's like, there's the noise. It's like sensory overload. It's overload. Yeah. It's the taste, yeah. the smells, like it's, yeah. it's a very sensorial experience. So just taking a moment to kind of digest, catch your breath and then go back out. It's, yeah. uh, it's always kind of nice. So yeah, we're I trying to- this, Yeah, it, cool. I think the Sunday morning can be good for that too, because what happens, even as a buyer, you're walking, you're walking, and you're, you're trying to absorb a lot. You'll see a lot of new stuff, but you may not get, you may not even give a minute yeah. right because it's not it's it, the show is, is is a is a good size and yeah. it's typically a show where you don't run it, it you, like you end up talking a ton mm -hmm. so it's one of those shows that doesn't have let's say the volume of booths of like an expo but yeah. it's a lot harder to work yeah. because yeah. one everybody knows everybody yeah and so <laughs> like every booth is longer than normal so like the incubator alley people <clears throat> You want to see new stuff, but you're dealing with so much of the old stuff. I think that Sunday morning, if retailers are smart, it's actually a really good play to to get that 60 seconds that you just don't get on the floor with so much shit going on. Like there's so much noise. Yeah, right? I, mean, I think it's really, that's a really good idea. Yeah, we. I mean, we yeah. love the Incubator Alley crew. Like, I mean, yeah. Again, it's it's small brands, and you're putting yeah. like you're bootstrapping it. You're you're putting your passion yeah. out there. You've got a I great like idea, that. and you know, there's just the, some great companies that have come up through exhibiting sure. that. And yeah, so we love supporting them. So yeah, it's gonna cool. really hard to test it out. So hopefully, lots of retailers cool. breakfast and yeah, check out those brands. I hope oh, so I love too. It. That's awesome. I, I think too, for the little guys, like that first, you know, that if you think of that first time that you got a booth at a show, mm -hmm. you're thinking the same things, right? You're just thinking, is it going to be worth it? Is anyone going to stop? Like, does anyone see me? Like there's 18,000 other people here, you know, like, and so having a moment to be able to pitch, to hear your pitch out loud and then actually have people zeroed in on you. It's, yeah. It's kind of a big deal. Like it's a huge I, I deal. It's a great really practice. Love it. like, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, and it's also, I think, Kenny, you hit the nail on the head about our show in a different, like, you. it really is community. Like, you know people. Yeah, like, if you've been in the it. industry for a long time, it's hard to walk those aisles with any Even sort of harder them. to walk with someone who's been in the industry like a yeah. thousand years. It's like, hard. You should try going two aisles with Kenny. It's hard. Yeah. Popular you don't man. get far. You don't get far because oh. you know so many people, and it's not like nothing. Like nothing in this industry is a short conversation. No. Like there's a lot of industries I've been in that you know a high is, hey, you smile and it's really good, and you saw somebody. Not in this one. You got to stop. You got to hug, and it's yeah. what's going on, and you start to the family. Well, you have you, to stop. By the time, you well, to, whatever. By the time you get to the business play. aspect, because it's such a tight community, like yeah. an aisle is, is an hour. Yeah. But you for those have an hour. brands and everyone who hasn't been there before, like that's it's like it's like day one. Like you've got to start those relationships. Exactly. Apart. So yeah. it's like, like yeah. to give again that little bit of exposure so yeah. you have that recognition yeah. when you're walking the aisles. Like those those yeah. relationships are forming. So I think that's pretty cool. I think it's awesome. I really do. I, I think it's fantastic. Can you can know? I ask you too? Because every year I think so so I think I think um the alley is going to be amazing. I think the things to me that get understated, um, and I don't mean to put you on the spot, but so I'm here. I, anyway. I feel like between you and Aaron, every yeah. year you guys do something super smarty pants. Like, because I usually go, I learned early on not to miss you and Aaron, whatever it is that you're going to talk about, because yeah. when the two of you get together and start thinking, and then when you start dumpster diving on numbers, it's like, it's awesome. I like them. Yeah, so I do too. where are you dumpster diving for numbers this year and what <laughs> yeah so we're we're actually trying we're actually trying <laughs> we're saying trying because we haven't done it yet we are working on um uh more of a panel discussion this year but we want to okay. look at a higher level trend so what is actually shaping consumers perception their behaviors like what yeah. is kind of shape shifting yeah. the world because i think one of the things that I've been kind of paying attention to late, paying attention to lately is like tr people say trends, but it's like it's so quick. I think it's like the yeah. TikTok effect, right? It's right. like, I mean, I follow a lot of like beauty TikToks and podcasts and things yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Like latte yeah. makeup, then strawberry yeah. makeup, then it's like it's just constant, right? So we're just trying to take a step back and say like, okay, what are kind of the macro forces that are yeah. are shape right. shifting how people yeah. view health and wellness, um, you know, over the coming years? So. 
we, um, you know, we're looking through the lens of like a trend hunter. So kind of on that consumer level media brand, like how do we actually communicate that through packaging or through like influencer marketing and things like that, and just have a discussion about what different kind of facets of groups are seeing and yeah, talk about how this is, is going to impact health and wellness from a, from a trend perspective in the years to come. So yeah, we're pretty yeah, excited. Yeah. We're working through that right now and, and just building that. You wonder I like that about, too. That's yeah. good. Yeah. I just, I, I wonder like, like one of those, you know, you think we're all starting to really lean on value um, and, and what unit value looks like, right. That's something we haven't done in the last four or five years, right. Is, is uh, particularly during the pandemic, it was like, look, if it's available buy it, right. Like it doesn't yeah. really matter what unit value is, but you look at what's happening now. Um, and it might be a small trend right now of like, I need to buy more for less but then that shapes what happens in the next three to five years, right? Because you all of a sudden you have a consumer who realizes, here's how I get better bang. When we come out the other side and we we're back to, you know, kind of spending norm normally, whatever that is. Yeah. What happens to that, right? Do people drop that and go back? I don't think so. Right? Or what like, the changes are. Because yeah, not like, everybody's but, doing but how does that, that affect good. pack changes? How does that Everything. affect the way brands look at what they present Everything. as value? Or, or how yeah. even like brands, like we, you know, we've been talking a lot because we also host our press event on the Friday as well. And we've been kind yeah. of talking about, you know, different, different trends and different things we're seeing on the show floor, but it's even like things like do brands partner with, you know, other organizations that like help to bring back agriculture or, you know, help, you know, mitigate against climate change, like our partnership with Veritree, right? So we're just really yeah. kind of thinking through all those different angles, like what do people care about and what's really starting to like I said, solidify in their mind, like this is how I want to live or this is how I want to show up in the world through my purchases or what is going to resonate with me. So yeah. like I said, we're building that through a few different angles and a few few different thought leaders as well and, and really just trying to talk about those trends at a high level. I think it's a good idea because I think what happens, especially, uh, especially our industry is a funny industry and they can get bogged down in the funniest details mm -hmm. that really don't matter but they'll just hang on to it mm -hmm. and you lose sight of that you know there's a day-to-day -day, but there's also there are macro trends not everybody is buying you know values doesn't mean cheap value could mean listen you know what i'd actually rather buy premium but i'll stretch it differently yeah right so it's a different play as opposed to listen i just need quantity at a decent price yeah, yeah. i actually don't care about the quantity as much as I care about the quality, I'd still like it at a decent price, but you're still trying to figure that out. So I think if you guys are going down those angles, I think it gives, especially the smaller retailers, a chance to pull back and breathe for a second and understand that it's multifaceted. Not every consumer is hunting for the basement. It's true. A yeah. lot of people love the top floor, right? Yeah. So it's kind of trying to find, you know, the balance in there. Well, and it's even thinking yeah. like, again, like what, you, again you're right we can get kind of in our own echo chamber our own like industry mm -hmm. or whatever and like and the last consumer report we did i know you guys kind of came to the talk i don't know if you remember but you know one of the things that bubbled up to the surface when we you know talked to canadians through that research study was people were gravitating more towards free from and like right. so free from chemicals free from whatever right and you know i know there's people who are like, well, that doesn't mean anything. It's not regulated. Like, you know, that you can get some naysayers on that claim, but sure. it's like, at the end of the day, that's what Canadians are gravitating to. They're putting more importance on this now right. than they were before. So you can kind of fight it and try to do the heavy lifting to educate around it, or you can kind of lean into it as well. Like, I mean, that's a decision from a brand, but it's good to know what people are, what are they caring about? What are they looking for? And, you know, there's so much information coming at us all the time. So to be able yeah. to through the noise and I think just really kind of get a handle on what people care about, what they're what they're gravitating towards, how they're communicating. I think it'll be it'll be an interesting conversation. I think sure. it's a bigger deal than you think, Lindsay. I mean, I've been going to this show, you know, I'm, I've been doing this for way too long. Mm -hmm. And in the past, it wasn't as the insights weren't weren't as clearly talked about. Let's go down that way. Right. Where I think you guys have done a really this is just to you know, to toot your own horn. You guys have done a really, really good job over the last couple of years of changing how yeah. the show and even the organization runs where there is a lot more just really cool information that 
in the old days we just didn't have i mean it was really all about two shows a year and you know that was kind of the play and i think you know for people who whether it's a retailer or a brand i think you guys have become much 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 more relevant because the information is just different yeah. and it's a lot more macro um there's still micro obviously but there's a lot more macro play and i think it just i think it's just you guys have done a really good job changing how the show has been presented and i think the topics and just the content like i think when i'm like feel like when you and aaron get together it's actually pretty cool right Thanks. because you guys talk differently it's different too like you're just your your passion levels are you different and I think the information we get it's just really yeah. and i think just retailers if you know with the ones who are going to listen to this and the brands i think you need to take more advantage of the thursday friday saturday sunday is always going to be there the 18 we know that it's important but i think the thursday friday is really really critical if you want to grow your businesses i really that's my opinion anyway yeah well thank you i mean i i think okay. Uh, I could, I, I'll speak for Aaron since he's not here. I, you know, I think we both love doing this. So, and you I can think tell. Too, um, it, it's like a, what am I trying to say? It's like a product of the cool brands. Like this industry is always pushing the status quo. Exactly. And there's some amazing yeah. companies who are really doing some cool and innovative things. So if we don't keep pace with that, then what are we doing? What's the point? Yeah. What's, What's the, the point, point, right? So yeah. I think we get a lot of inspiration from the members, to be honest, and then just want to, you know, make sure we're showing up in the same same way they are and doing the cool things. But um, I think you're right about the Thursday, Friday. Like, we're really putting a lot of, of effort there. So the Thursday, the reg forum, I know a lot of people think that that's, you know, oh, it's, it's for the regulatory people, but regulations impact your business. And I really had to, you know, take a moment with the, my team too. And I'm like, it's not, for example, like labels. You guys, <laughs> Phil, you probably worked on a bajillion labels, right? Like it's not the regulatory people who are doing the labels. It's the marketing people who are doing the labels. The reg people are like, yeah, yeah. you can do that. But yeah. so regulations really have like important business decisions. So being aware of what is happening on that perspective, it's not it's huge. technical. Like, yes, the technical people definitely need to know what's happening. But if you're a small business, you don't have a dedicated reg team. I think like, you know, as a marketer, you need to know what is happening yeah, on really the regulatory do. front yeah. because it's going to have some pretty big impacts on the decisions you make. So definitely the the reg forum, I would say it's open to CHFA members. Come check it out. There's a lot of of changing regulations right now. And again, we were kind of talking about the SOS campaign, like aye, aye, aye. The yeah. HPD, they're going to be there in person. So opportunity to kind of share what these changes will have with your business as well. So it's a, it is a two-way conversation. Um, and then the Friday, there's there's awesome content happening. There's, you know, um, I think her name, I hope I'm not screwing this up, her, Jen Harper. She is the founder of Cheekbone Beauty, which is an, right. indi an, an, an indigenous founded beauty brand. Cool. She's coming to do a talk. Right. Um, we have our keynote lunch again. Like there's just some really great content on the Friday. And yeah, we're just, we're trying to- It's packed. It's we packed. went through it like we were going through it. It's packed, and I think yeah. there's just a lot of really cool things. I mean, there's, I mean, there's like everything in life. You have stuff you're going to resonate with and stuff you're not. But I think, yeah. as as a retainer brand, take the time and go through it. There's, like, to me, if you're not doing the, the you know, the the Thursday Friday, I I think you're still, you're still in the old school of what it used to be, and I think you're missing, you're missing a lot of opportunity to to pick up a couple nuggets. That will make Friday, Saturday, Sunday so much different for but, you. But I think said so different, much right? Like I think said different is we are at a point where the 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 point that our industry is at is very different than it was a year ago, two years totally. ago, three years ago, right? And so there there there's always been a case that you kind of go things just move the way they're going to move, right? And so I should show up for Saturday, Sunday. I'll kind of get what I get out of it. But I just think that if you look at, you know, you forget every other year and you think of what's happened this year and what a lot we're of stuff. going through and then the changes in our audience, our demographic, the people who buy our products, between that and what the government wants to do, those two things are things alone that make you go Thursday and Friday, I've got to be there. Like I've just got to dial in, right? Because there's so many things going on if I don't. If I don't show up and I don't get something out of this, I'm probably missing something huge that's going to cost me a year, a year and a half from now, right? Yeah. So it's just it's it's just a moment, right? Like maybe you think 
we say this every year, but we don't say this every year. I think this year in particular, you kind of go look like there's like groundbreaking legislation that could cripple the industry out there, not to yeah. be doomsday about it, but yeah, right. And then there is like groundbreaking consumer trends that we don't really understand yet, truthfully. Right. Yeah. And and then the economic conditions are making everything change. Like the way we shop is it's different. It's very different from what we did five years ago. Right. So yep. Nothing, nothing you gotta be there. Anymore. Yeah. But I will say yeah. on this Friday, if you if there's three, if you can't come to everything, three yeah. things. So in the morning, um, our government relations team, they are kicking it off with an SOS update. So we've been doing okay. updates in a <laughs> webinar format throughout the summer yeah. just to make sure industry knows what's happening. They're doing that live on the uh, the Friday morning. So yeah. definitely that one's an important one. I got to say, launch fad. Got to see Kenny judge some people. Oh, yeah. Kenny. <laughs> Kenny, baby. But coming back, like product discovery again. Like that's a great way yeah. to just kind of yeah. see what's new and, and deep dive. And then... Um, our CHFA member mixer happens right after Launchpad, so we're we're throwing a party. We've got a DJ, we've got drinks, we've got non-alcoholic options, we've got food and snacks. So, like, I don't know, coming back to the relationships in the community, like, come, raise a glass, kick it off. It's like, it feels like that's a bit of the kickoff of the weekend as well. Mm -hmm. So, it's a great, great place. I think to it's good. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. and yeah, like, just get ready to awesome. have a fun weekend. So, it's going to be a great weekend. It's going to be yeah. a great weekend. It yeah. is. I'm pumped. L Lindsay, thanks for doing this. I'm yeah, thanks for coming on. Couldn't yeah. be happier. <laughs> Love being here. Yeah.